Ricky Martin, how you going, brother? Good stuff, good stuff. Hope you've been, uh, yeah, hope you've been well. I haven't heard from you in a while. Hey, we need to talk, by the way, uh, Ricky. And I don't see your gifts in my timeline uh, as much. What's going on? What's going on, brother? Robert, <laughs> how's it going, my man? Courtney May, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, yeah, today is a fantastic day. I'm hoping everybody else is um, well and truly good. Um, and um, yeah, everybody else can just join us as we go along. Obviously, um, my name is Prosper Tarovinga for those that are just tuning in for the first time. And um, I think you would know by now that I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business, uh, first of all, I want to let you know that, um, you know, kudos to you and congratulations for, uh, you know, stepping out and doing stuff on your own. But I was also want to assure you that I want you to do that in a way that you are profitable in what you're doing and you are actually enjoyable in doing that business. Now, Robert says, how was yesterday? Yesterday was magical, my man. Um, Christine, how are you doing? So, Robert, yesterday I got to uh, meet my mentor. I got to, um, you know, usher him and help him on stage. It was it was just really, really fantastic. I think you would know Steve Brassman. Um, he laid down a really perfect speech and we were just, um, you know, the part that I enjoy about my business, which is having a business that's profitable and enjoyable actually enjoying the work that we put out there we had a lot of people I think about 150 people in the room and um, yeah we put we pulled a really good show we got a lot of leads from that so it's also a fantastic uh, thing that we did I ended up being um, you know his cameraman and taking you know, really good photos of him there. So that's really cool. Sean, hope you've been having a fantastic year. I hope uh, Univers uni hasn't, um, you know, got you forgetting that you have to build your business. And Christine, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, one other thing that I actually really want that those people that I'm working with or I'm relating to every single day should also be doing the same to their audience. You should be creating content for and relating to the people you're going to be demanding money off of. And I actually believe that every human being should be given an opportunity to live, to learn and to contribute. And I'm assuming that every person that watches these uh, videos is on a mission to contribute whatever they've learned and live or have a happier existence, all right? So basically what I do every single day at 2 p.m. AEST when I'm in the office is to help small businesses like yours to grow essentially using digital marketing strategies. And I also help you to create and... Um, you know, um, you know, create systems around what you do so you can optimize your business for growth and for profit. In the process, you also get to earn more money with less struggle. All right. And um, half of the things that I help with is PR and branding. Uh, yesterday, I just got published in the SBS uh, blog, which helps with the SEO. It helps with a lot of things. So if that's something that you really want to learn how to do, how to always be in the public eye, um, it is something that I can also help you with and i can see dodge has just tuned in and look corin look how's it going my man and everybody who's watching right now i want you to congratulate look look got a really good testimonial uh from um a soccer team that he was working with this year and obviously as as part of what we do, we always want to make sure that our customers are happy. We always want to make sure that we're contributing and we're creating and relating, um, you know, for those that we are demanding money off of. Now, see, Nicole has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my love. It's very, um, it's, it's very humbling to know that you are always um, there. And I really want to also see part of the work that you're doing. Um, you know, oh, it's not... Um, 
It's not soccer. <laughs> Sorry, rugby league team. Sorry about that. Uh, but everybody else, give Luke a round of applause and congratulate him. Um, you know for the work that he has done. Steve Thompson, thank you so much. I'm acknowledging everybody else as they go in. As um, you know, yesterday I was not around, so I hope everybody was working and creating stuff that would help them venture into 2018. Now today we're talking about something that is near and dear to my heart. And um, at the end of the day, you know, 2017 has just flown by. We're almost getting into 2018. And the question that a lot of you guys might be having in your heads is, um, did I leave? Did I uh, love in 2017? Uh, did I contribute or did I earn more? And in 2018, am I going to grow? All right. So the question now is, to grow or not to grow in 2018. Now, can you just type in the comments there, are you going to grow in 2018 or are you going to stay the way you have been uh, in the past years or are you actually closing? So I want you to type in grow, stay or closing because I know a lot of people are letting go. Maybe 2017 was not your year. Um, you know what I mean? And then you're deciding, okay, maybe I'm going to go back to work. It is understandable. Um, this whole game is, you know, you can't predict what happens. You've got bills to pay. You've got families to look after. Um, I just want to know who am I taking across to 2018? Are you going to grow? Are you going to stay? Or are you closing? Don't be shy if you're going to be closing. You know why? Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You can't keep beating onto a dead horse. If your um, business did not um, you know, sustain you that much in 2017, maybe it's time to get out of the picture or get out of the frame so you can see the bigger picture. And I see Steve has got an astounding grow. Absolutely. Now, Sandy, you wrote a big uh, comment. Let's see. Ah, oh, Okay, there you go. It just says grow. All righty, Sandy, thank you so much. And I know you're going to grow. So that's fantastic. Let me tell you something. I did make a video. I think it was on Tuesday telling you how my consultancy had grown by over 400 percent since the four years that we have, um, you know, been start. We, we, I, I started. So basically what that means, I've been growing, doubling my business every single year, which is what we did again this year. So congratulations to the team behind the scenes and all the people that we're actually working with here. All right. So what I really want to show you is this growth is not by accident. And I believe that everybody else that's watching here has watched me show up every single day building brick by brick the business as you are seeing it. You know what I mean? It's not like something that I just turn up in your newsfeed and I'm like, oh, this is what I did last year. Everybody saw everything happening brick by brick. So it wasn't a fluke. It is something that was put in the public eye and it got me to be accountable. You know why? Because I knew people were watching. I knew I had people's attention. And that, my friend, if you're brave enough, you need to do that for your business and, and have the world keep you honest or accountable. All right. So it was a careful plan. It was crafted and I knew I had to show up every single day and it was combined with the fierce determination to execute. So that's the reason why I gave myself the mandate that I had to show up every single day. Then that would mean I am actually going to have to work towards fulfilling that promise up until if you don't see me in the office, either something really cool is happening outside or somebody is paying me big money and they want to talk to me face to face. All right. But you've got to shift your thinking if you really want to double your business or if you really want to uh, grow your business. And now I'm putting out the pledge again in 2018. Take note if somebody is paying attention. These are the things that I'm going to double in my business. First of all, we're going to double the revenue. Second, we're going to double the quality of the content. Um, and then third, we're going to put out a book. All right. So I want you guys to hold me accountable to this. The online prosperity book is coming out 2018. 2018, I'm going to leave more. I'm going to learn a lot more and I'm going to contribute a lot more than I did in 2017. All right. And I'm going to double on the speaking engagements that I'm going to be involved in. I'm going to double on the awards that I'm going to sign up for. I'm going to double on the media appearances and all the mentions that can 
possibly grow my business and grow, um, you know, the, 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 the reach that I have, um, you know, using my digital marketing expertise. I'm also going to double my client base right now. I have a client base of 37 clients that I work with, um, you know, doing their SEO and helping with their marketing strategies. A minimum client that I take on pays $700. So guess what? We're doubling from that 37 in 2018. We're going to have a double figure uh, on those people. And I'm also going to triple my lead generation efforts. Okay. So I have been slack a little bit on, on bringing in new clients, but 2018, we're going to triple on lead generation activities. And I'm also going to double my price on coaching. You know why? I'm having um, a lot of people that are in and dating me wanting, um, you know, to, to be a part of what I'm doing. But you know what? With greater, um, you know, responsibility, I mean, with greater influence comes a lot of responsibility. I really want to make sure that the people I'm going to be working with will get utmost uh, my attention and value and also results at the end of the day. I'm also going to, um, you know, pick up. Yes, this is a private thing, but yet another private uh, investment property. I'm going to double on my own learning. I'm going to double on my own living. That means time with family, time with um, my, con my, my, my business, um, time with um, everybody else. That means something to me outside of business. And I'm also going to double on my contribution, which means um, the life is going to stay on because um, this did us so well last year. There's no need for us to scrape it. I'm going to double on the videos that I'm doing with um, other professionals. If you haven't seen the online prosperity show, go out and check it out. And I'm also going to, oh, I'm going to double on the videos. Um, and then I'm also going to double on my relating efforts. So if I'm going to be putting people on my list, they're not just going to be a hashtag. I need to know who they are, what their son's name is, and what school their son goes to just so that I am so aligned to the people that I'm actually helping. I don't want to just collect numbers. I really want to see people succeeding. And I'm also going to double on what my audience really is. Some people are just here to listen, um, contribute, or just make fun. But I really want to make sure that the people I'm going to be dealing with are people that are willing and able, first of all, to purchase my services and are actually wanting to grow. All right. So there are a few steps that I'm going to be taking on uh, in 2018. And it's going to be mostly a lot of discipline on my part. So if you see um, as if I'm ignoring you or if you feel that my energy is too high for you, 2017 was your year to figure out if you can hang around um, these areas or touch the hem. I'm really going in full throttle and I want people that mean business around me because um, if you're not growing, then you're dying. All right. And um, so these are some of the things that I'm going to be saying is um, some of the things that I expect, um, you know, the people that I'm going to be working around, uh, you know, to also implement if, if you can't stand the heat you're allowed to get out of the kitchen that's just how we're going to be operating look corin you are a specific example you've seen me grow and you've noticed that without hard work there's no results that come around there's a lot of people that just um you know watch these videos and not grow and i can see that so if you don't see me in your newsfeed that means i've let you go all right that's how we're going to be operating because we can't have all this energy just oozing to people that actually don't appreciate it don't actually know how to utilize it and don't know if they actually fit in all right so at the end of the day um it's um you know it's uh it's a fit in or fuck off scenario in 2018 and if you're with me let me know, um, you know, I, I will see by the energy and also, um, you know, how you're going around there. That not only um, is, is, is going to help me grow, but it's actually going to make you realize what it is that you actually really want for your business instead of just following, um, you know, people that are not leading you anywhere. All right. So, you know, one of the things that is going to happen um, within within my business is, we're going to start early. By the time the clock hits January 1, we're already implementing our 2018 strategy. Because a lot of companies, you know, they, they, they're still bloated by 
January 1st. And then by the time it gets to January 15 in Australia, we have what's called Australia Day. It's already another holiday. By the time they regroup, it's already Valentine's Day. By the time they want to start, you know, flexing their muscles, it's already Easter or it's already another holiday. So at the end of the day, that's already the first quarter of the year that's wasted. So guess what? It's, it's a very bad idea and you know time is of essence, all right? What I do in one year is what other people do in a whole lifetime, all right? So many small companies, they sort of determine the, their growth patterns for the upcoming year. Sometime, say, when, when, when the year has come in, like January 1st, 3rd or the 4th, and that's when they start being serious about their business. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea. That's far too late to obtain anything um, substantial. You know people need to know, like, and trust you. How can you do that in the space of three weeks? All right? So if you really want to double your revenue, like what I want to do um, in one year, what I'm going to be doing is to get the machine cranked up right from the get-go. January 1st, all systems go. All right? That's how we're going to be operating. So at the end of the day, if you want to be following how I'm doing, that could be the pattern you should want to follow. Okay? In other words... You really must start your new product development, your new business development for, for say, you know, the first quarter just before Christmas, which is run about now, and then just start generating any sort of, uh, you know, you know, leads or, or, or whatever, you know, outcomes that you want right now. Start preparing for the content that you're going to be issuing out and don't let go of, um, you know, the, um, the, 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 the pedal. Because at the end of the day, even if you don't want to grow, even if you don't want to grow, the engine has to be grinding. Have you ever been at a stop sign? You know, the engine keeps running even if the car is not moving. You know what I mean? Even with ducks, they're paddling right at the bottom, you know what I mean? But they are gracefully looking up um, on top of the water. So if you're not moving, you're not growing, all right? The, you, you, you know, in, in, in this day and age, you literally have to keep running to stand still. You need to be seen, you need to be there contributing, living, and being there for the people you're going to be demanding money off of. But this is not going to happen if you're not dreaming big things for your business, if you're not believing big things for your business. Because excuses sound best to the person that's telling them. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm telling you this is how I'm going to be operating. And if, if anybody comes to me and they're like, oh, sorry, this and this is not ready. Or we just are winding down for Christmas. Yeah, that's you. That's your business. But what's going to happen as soon as, you know, all the Christmas is gone, all the New Year's is gone? Are you going to close your business? I don't think so. All right. So, you know, you got to dream big. You got to keep the dream alive. Whatever you're dreaming forward should not be determined by what's happening then today. Oh, we've got company. We've got company. Hey, did I wake you up? <laughs> I woke up my little girl. Kalina, did I wake you up? Yeah, are you going to go to bed? All right, so you just want to bear with me a second. Let me, let me get, um, get her back to bed. Say bye-bye, Kalina. No? All right, come here. Yes! Is mommy back? No. No, she's not. What happened? No. No? Okay, hurry up. No, you sleep. You want some sleep? No. Alright, so can I watch TV? No. No, <laughs> Great stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, now, where were we before we got so cutely interrupted? Yeah, and I'm also going to double up on uh, family time, so it, it all works out. Now, Emma says, you handled it better than that poor guy on BBC News. <laughs> ah, absolutely. Well, at the end of the day, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it for her. And, um, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things. <laughs> 
Great stuff. So obviously, dream bigger and um, have have a bigger belief in what you're doing because the bigger the belief, whatever is going to happen um, within within your business, whatever mishap is going to come through within your business, guess what's going to happen? You, you you shouldn't let any small disturbances go in your way. All right. So you know. Dreaming big and 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 believing is one of the hardest things that a lot of people cannot really do. So the the idea of growing your business or or sort of doubling it up, it actually requires a big paradigm stretch. You know what I mean? You have to accommodate and become a bigger person and become something bigger than who you were last year. And some people cannot do that. You know, some people cannot stretch. Um, and, and, and fill up those big shoes um, as soon as, as they're needed, okay? Um, there's one thing that I heard that lobsters, is it, is it lobsters, those red, red um, seafood um, fish, lobsters, when they grow, when they grow their shell, you know, because they've got an endoskeleton, right? Every time they grow, they have to lose the shell they had the last year. All right. So can you imagine if they don't have to lose that shell, what would happen? They would stay small. But us as humans, we don't have a shell to 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 tell us it's time to grow. Even snakes, they shed a skin from last year. Do you know what I mean? So you want to make sure the person you were last year, if you're going to continue being that person, then you haven't grown. Because the idea of you growing and doubling your business or even staying in business in the next year, it requires a big shift in your brain. And um, some people just don't have the belief that they too can do that. So without the belief, no action, no, no, no action that you're going to take will, will take you any further. You know, if you really want big revenue, if you really want more clients, if you really want more capacity for your business, it requires you having bolder, bigger plans to accommodate that. And big plans require big dreams. So are you dreaming big enough? Because that's the only way you can actually achieve your goals. That's the only way you can actually, you know, be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Because if you're not growing, there's somebody who was in the training ground last year and now is ready to launch in 2018. You've got, you know, more people to, 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 you know, compete against or people that can grab your customers away from. So the beginning of the year is a dangerous one. You know why? Because that's when a lot of people have made a New Year's resolution to say, I want to start my own business. They're going to start with, you know, the tenacity. They're going to come in cheaper, better, faster because they were watching the whole year before. So you and in the eyes of the customers, you and that person that's starting, you are not any different unless you've established yourself. So that's why I'm saying start early because at the beginning of the of the year there will be a lot of contenders that are vying and making so much noise in the in, in in the market. So you need time to start training your brain, accept your idea that you're going to double your revenue to start becoming that person that's going to be bigger than the smaller competition that's coming up. You see where I'm going with this? Because then on the start line, there's going to be a lot of people. But by the end of the year, either you or a few other people will still be there. And you can check behind and see those people that, um, you know, have gone through. But the beginning of the year is very fickle because every dog, every jack, every man and his dog wants to start a business, wants to be heard, is full of enthusiasm, has got resolutions. All right. How are you making it different for yourself? So you need to see your company twice as big before you even become twice as big. And that will also really, really, um, you know, allow you to expand. And, and, and you need to really look and start the year with the end in mind. Because you can't hit a target that you can't see. Envision it and then you believe. Otherwise, you will never execute. You know? It, Oh, there she is again. All right. So, you know, you should, you should always, always be preparing for, for the end. And also, guess what, guys? 
the bigger you're gonna grow, you're gonna lose family, friends, you're gonna accumulate haters and naysayers, put them in the budget as well. And put them in the budget of you ignoring them because they want you to stay where you are supposed to stay. And you don't want that, you want to grow. So you wanna ignore them, you wanna start bracing up for that, you know? And then those who say something cannot be done, they shouldn't interrupt those people that are busy doing it. That should be your mantra for 2018 and growing, um, you know, bigger, better and faster than, you know, your competition or your, your naysayers there. All right. But guess what? At the end of the day, if you grew in 2017, utilizing maybe one product or one stream of income or one particular strategy, you now need to either double up on those strategies or you actually need to launch something else so that you create a value ladder or some sort of a funnel where people can pick up on different products and those small products will then become little you know revenue generators along the way because on your way to the bigger um, you know uh, price or to the bigger um, um, you know, end goal, you are going to need to sustain yourself with either, um, you know, cash flow, you're going to need to sustain yourself with energy and a lot more other things in order for you to validate your existence in the market. Good day, Greg Stedden. Thank you so much for tuning in, brother. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I'm going to show you here real quick. Um, where is it? Where is it? I'm going to show you here real quick today. Yeah, we're moving the camera a lot. This is the value ladder for um, my business right there. So I can see it. I mean, obviously, I got in trouble for writing, um, you know, on the wall. <laughs> I do have a whiteboard, but I got in trouble. I got in trouble for writing on the wall there. But yeah, you can see I, I, I constantly see what products I have on the value ladder and how my funnel should be looking like at any given moment. And I'm supposing you should also have something like that within your business. You know why? Because then every, you know, every, every stage of the value ladder, every, um, you know, you know, because some clients are not ready to buy your most expensive product. So if you've got a $15 product, if you've got a $20 product, if you've got a $30 product, list them there so that whatever level your customer can come in through, you know, because some of us have got a $25,000 product and somebody cannot just come from zero to 25,000. All right. So you want to maybe start them off with, um, you know, a $10 product just so that they get accustomed to the kind of content that you're putting out there. And then as you grow, you know, and as you expand with them, they get to know, like, and trust you, then they can invest more. They can invest more. You are gaining from them and they are learning from you in the process. Now, Nicole says, how do you create a value ladder? <laughs> I just explained how you create it. So you start off with something really small, manageable, easy. You can start off with giving them a free book plus shipping. And then once they're in there, they get like a, a maybe a $45 product, a $4,400 product, and from a $400 product and a $1,000 product. And then the value keeps going. And because when somebody has purchased something from you, they're likely to purchase again if they were satisfied. So it's better to actually attract somebody who already knows, likes, and trusts you than you going out there to attract a new person. Person who hasn't heard about you all right so that's pretty much one of the things that you can literally do and you can now create multiple um, you know streams of income from different products on different levels of where people are actually getting to know you or understanding who you are as a person so when you build your you you, you, you know you build your revenue and ladder one step at a time based on the idea of, of, of who you are and what you want to present yourself as so maybe you can spend a whole month creating just the bottom bit of, you know, the value ladder. And then maybe that's maybe writing a book or writing a, a PDF that you can send out to people as a, as, as a way of getting them into your territory. And then at, at the end of the day, whatever it is that you do, however you provide, however you create for and however you relate to your audience, it's part of the value ladder. So the more they consume stuff off of you, the better it becomes for them getting to know, like and trust you. You know, and, and um, for, for my own business, you know, the, 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 the revenue ladder, uh, you know, it lists eight different revenue sources. 
Right? So the first one happens to be this freebie book here, the online prosperity blueprint that you get for free. You just download this and from there you are introduced to maybe a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. From there, I then sell you maybe a $475 product. From there, I then sell you, um, you know, anything that just goes on and on and on and on like that. He did not create that concept, uh, Nicole. That concept is there and it's universal. But good on you for having discovered it from him, all right? So at the end of the day, you really need to determine that are you gonna grow or are you just gonna stagnate? You know what I mean? You really, really need to let you know, find out from yourself, are you actually going to be growing? So this is exactly what we're going to be doing, um, you know, in, in our business. And the best way to really, really um, reach your revenue goals is, is, is by planning to exceed it. So if you say, um, you know, you, you, you want to say create $150,000 in your business, right, in, in next year, aim for things that will give you at least... 175 to 200 thousand dollars as they say you know aim for the stars even if you miss you land among the the clouds all right so don't go exactly for what your goal is exceed it a little bit you know and because because when i'm making an annual plan i i double what i'm actually anticipating all right so that way as well your brain now knows that it is actually possible to reach figures like that and what it does it works on two levels you know, the first part is you you now actually have a hope and you now actually have a meaning for you waking up every single day to your business because you know what it does? It actually tells you you are capable of reaching those numbers, those figures or that revenue level. And that's and, and then you now tell yourself half of that is non-negotiable. You, you must hit that, no excuses. And then you put out a plan to get there. You know, and if you really, really want to double your revenue, put this in, 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 in your practice. Double whatever your goal is, and then your mind already is now working towards getting that. And even if you miss, you still land among the, the, the clouds. You know, and you're not, you're not as, as confused every single day as you wake up because you know where your end goal is. My end goal is to make sure, um, you know, uh, okay, say for, for every video that I make, I have to make sure I have to put in as much value in 30 minutes as possible. Even if my little girl shows up, I know if it's not 30 minutes, I haven't finished, I haven't done yet. I, I could have ended the video then. So you want to construct something that makes sure that you're, you're honest to yourself, you're true to yourself, and you, you live by those um, you know, principles up until they become second nature. You know, And then in the process, your revenue streams are coming in, your marketing is working out there, and you're living within your own story, and you're authentic in the process. You know, And guess what? We all know that you can't do this all by yourself. So the people that are going to be working around you, reward them. Make sure you've got that in plan. You've got that budget to, to, to reward people that are going to help you grow. Because doubling your revenue is not something that you can do on your own, you know. So have a budget for people that are going to help you go to the next step. Because in, 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 in our language, I mean, we've got an African saying that if you want to go, if you go alone, you go uh, far, but if you want to go further, you go together. All right. So find out people that are around you that will make things happen for you. People that will help you write content. People that will help you create your website. People that will help you create the value ladder. And then you just need to share the spoils of the success with them. So whatever you're going to budget as what you want to create as revenue, budget maybe half of that for people that are going to help you, you know, sustain your business as well. You know. All of these people that do all of these things that you buy, they don't do that by themselves. You know, Richard Branson, right now, if you ask him to fly a plane, he doesn't know how to fly a plane. But he owns how many planes, he owns how many, um, you know, uh, business lounges and stuff like that. You know? So at the end of the day, you're going to need people around you that can actually fulfill, you know, the needs that your customers want. And you are just going to be the face of the business helping you grow. And you can only grow when you're actually doing the things that you're actually capable of.
I'm really good at talking. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be speaking a lot next year. I'm going to be doing a lot of these live sessions. I'm going to be speaking to clients and, and, and doing more videos while the team behind is working and putting the work out there. And guess what? You got to compensate these people for them to stick around. Otherwise, you're just breeding people that will steal your business ideas and go to your competition. I've got one simple formula. If you're bringing us revenue and you're making us money, we'll pay you more money. All right? So you really want to, um, you know, grow like that. I've just been laying out how my 2018 is going to be like. And guess what? You guys are going to be watching it unfold. So it's nothing that you're going to have to hear from anybody else. I want you to have front row seat and, you know, for you to see it all unfold. And, and you should be doing that for yourself as well. And uh, Robert says, I look forward to that and dropping books in the comments. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, man. Um, at the end of the day, as I said from the onset, there is nothing easy about this process. There's nothing easy about growth, but we're going to do it. And um, if you want me to hold you accountable or, or if you want somebody to keep an eye, look out for the people that are around you that you trust that can hold you accountable. All right. It's not easy, but it is simple. If you've got a plan, start now and just really get your belief system right. And the rest will follow. And pretty soon, you know what? You'll be out there changing the world like the rest of us are doing. All right. I really want to see every one of you guys in 2018. And if I'm going to see you in 2018, can you type in the words 2018 there? All right. Because I know in, in the coming weeks, I might be sporadic with this live because at the end of the day, um, you know, you know, it's end of it's end of year. There's going to be a lot of Christmas parties here and there. I've been invited. My clients are doing Christmas parties here and there. So I might not be doing lives as much. So I will be slowing down. But I really want you to, to you know, to make it an account for yourself. Just type in the words 2018 so that we know that you're going to be proceeding into 2018 full. I mean, with all guns blazing and actually creating for and relating for those you're going to be demanding money off of. And especially making sure you're going to be running a business that's profitable and you actually enjoy working in it. Robert and Nicole, thank you so much for tuning in and everybody else that's going to tune in and post production. I really, really want to thank you. And um, yeah, 2017 would have been nothing without you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your year.